Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here's information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actual program at Illinois State University. Um, you can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. The number of workplace accidents occurring in the factory on any given day is Poisson distributed with mean lambda. The parameter lambda is a random variable that is determined by the level of activity in the factory and is uniformly distributed on the interval 0, 3. Calculate the probability of one accident on a given day. And here's the solution. So let us write n for the random number of accidents. Then probability that n is equal to n, given that lambda is equal to s, is e to the minus s times s to the nth over n factorial for n equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on, where lambda is a random variable uniformly distributed on the interval from 0 to 3. Therefore, the density of lambda is f sub lambda of s equal to 1 third for s between 0 and 3, and f sub lambda of s is 0 otherwise. We conclude um, that uh, probability that n is equal to n is the integral from 0 to 3 over all possible values of s, um, which are from 0 to 3, of e to the minus s times s to the nth over n factorial times 1 third ds. So we calculate the marginal uh, probability function by taking the integral over all possible values of the parameter lambda. Our specific values of parameter lambda are denoted by, by s to not confuse the random variable lambda with specific values of that random variable. I wish they used the capital lambda f as a notation for the random variable, but they didn't in the problem, so that's why I write lambda lowercase for the random uh, parameter and then for its specific values s. Okay, that's uh, an integral that you could calculate if you play uh, with it carefully, but you don't have to because the question is not to find that probability for any n, it's for n equal to 1, and specifically. And that's the integral from 0 to 3 of e to the minus s times s over 1 factorial, or s to the first, but that's s, times 1 third ds. Okay, that's one-third of the integral from 0 to 3 of s times e to the minus s. And we calculate this using uh, integration by parts. Uh, we take uh, u to be one function, u to be s. And then, of course, du is equal to ds. And then the differential is dv is e to the minus s ds, which is the other part that you see in the integral. And, um, well, who, what is the function whose differential this is? It's v equal to minus e to the minus s. Therefore, what we get is one-third times the product of u and v, which is s times minus e to the minus s, which you see here, evaluated from 0 to 3, plus one-third, plus, because it's minus uh, v du, but minus minus gives us a plus, um, and then it's one-third from the coefficient in front, in both cases, uh, of the integral from 0 to 3 of, what, e to the minus s ds. So the minus from here, um, together with the minus from the integration by parts formula, made it into a plus at the beginning. Well, at the beginning of this integral, in front of this integral. Um, okay, so this, what is this? Well, this first expression we evaluated at 0, at 0, so it's only the value at uh, 3 that matters, and we get this to be minus e to the minus 3. And the integral is minus e to the minus s evaluated from 0 to 3, of course multiplied by the coefficient 1 third in front of it. 
And this whole thing becomes minus e to the minus 3, minus 1 third e to the minus 3 plus 1 third. We calculate this. This is approximately 0 0.26695058, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.